Now that we're able to store our user within our store, we don't need to set a user property within our auth service. In this video, we'll refactor our auth service, run the application, make sure everything is working before moving on to the next module. Let's open up our auth service inside of our auth module, resource folder, and the auth service. And all we need to do here is remove a bunch of code we don't need anymore. Like we don't need the user inside of the auth service. So we could remove this and this. And also we don't need to update the user inside of our auth service. So we get rid of this. And this is what you want your auth service to look like. So let's save this. Now, if you missed any videos throughout this entire module, you're going to get a bunch of errors when you run the application. If we go back to here. So for example, if you missed this video, this is where we updated our header component. When you run the application, you're going to get an error about the header component. You just want to go back and watch any videos that you missed here. And the reason you're getting the errors is because the user no longer exists in the auth service. And throughout this entire module, we've been converting from the auth service to the store. Right now, we should only get one error when we run the application, and that's about the admin guard, and we'll take care of that. Let's run the application. Open up the command line. Instead of running npm run dev, we'll run ng build. And we'll do an entire build. After compiling the application, you should only see one error, and it should be the admin guard file. If you hold down control and click on it, that should open the file up. I'll close down the command line. What's going on here is we're guarding certain routes. If the user is a admin, you're allowed to go into this route. If you're not the admin, you'll be redirected back to the home page. So this is just a route guard. And what we're doing here is we're getting the user information from our auth service. But now we want to get the information from our store instead. We'll replace this and we'll remove the auth service. We don't need that. And we'll pull in our store. So store. So now that we're bringing it in our store and I'll make sure I pull it in from NGRX. We can go up here and remove the auth service. We don't need that anymore. And there's a couple ways we can get the information from our store. We could use the selector we already created, or we could use the select method we were using in the last video. In this case, since we already have the selector created, I'm going to use the selector. Let's call the store. And I'll be using the pipe. Then we want to pull in the select operator that NGRX gives us and pass in our selector and that's called select is admin and we should be getting back a boolean from this not in the tire user so i'll just pass in bool for sure and replace this as well and everything should work like it did before save this open up the command line and we'll rerun ng build Our application has successfully compiled. Now we can run the application. Run npm run dev. Now that our application is running, let's check it out in the browser. Make sure we refresh the browser and everything should still be working exactly the same. And also we want to test out our guard now. Make sure we didn't break anything within that file. And if we log back out, log in as the admin, Put in a password. We should still be able to navigate to this link right here, this products, because we're currently signed in as the admin. So I'll click on that. And okay, that's working good. And if I copy this link here, this is a guarded route. If the user is not logged in as admin, they can't go to this route. So let's log out. Let's paste this in here now. Hit enter, and we should stay on the home page. Great. Everything is working great. Now in the next video, let's review everything we did in this module and we'll do that next.